the minutes of the emergency meeting of the NCPA, a, a statement was issued by them, and I'll, I'll read it out. It says, we have received information that some militant father's rights supporters and other civil rights groups may be planning to disrupt the ITNJ proceedings and uh, use such proceedings to promote their own causes. We are already severely constrained in presenting our case before the ITNJ by the legal requirements of Section 121 of the Family Law Act and have taken every possible step and exercise due diligence to ensure that the identities of those participating and who are still engaged in family law proceedings would be secure and protected. Several of the witnesses are suffering complex post-traumatic stress after suffering years of abuse and violence in domestic matters and from subsequent legal abuse and are extremely emotionally fragile and will require support and reassurance throughout the proceedings. Some potential witnesses have already withdrawn as they could not face the stress of appearing in the proceedings. If such disruptions and misuse of the proceedings were to occur, then those appearing would undoubtedly be exposed to further stress and anxieties and possible exposure of their identities. It is our duty and first priority to ensure that those vulnerable parents and children are safe and protected. And then it goes on to say, over several years and in recent weeks, officers of the NCPA have received a great deal of harassment, abuse and threats of harm and death from militant fathers' rights supporters, but have always been prepared to continue their work despite such occurrences. There is therefore a risk they may also be exposed to risks of harm during the course of the hearings. In such circumstances, it's been decided by the NCPA Executive Council to postpone the proceedings with the IT and sine die until such matters can be fully considered and an alternative strategy be devised in order to bring to public attention the harms which are being caused to children and young people by the Family Courts of Australia. We shall be considering these matters very carefully over the next few weeks and determining how and when we will proceed in these matters with minimal risk to all participants. That was on the, on the 24th of August. Uh, we res responded uh, to them and pointed out that in the directions hearing that took place in December, um, we made it clear that arrangements were being made uh, firstly to uh, take evidence by way of deposition or affidavit and secondly that anyone who did not wish to have uh, his or her identity uh, known steps would be taken to mask the identity uh, either by uh, a screen or by some other method of the evidence being able to be given uh, without the uh, the physical identity of the person being known or any information being given leading to the identity or address uh, of, of, of the person. Unless we get a firm uh, decision from the NCPA and a firm date set for the trial uh, by a certain date um, uh, that the matter be struck out. Um, what struck out means is that the matter will be removed from the list uh, and the NCPA will no longer be an applicant and if they want to reinstate the matter they'd have to basically start, start, start afresh.